Hi, Bruno. Thank you so much for joining us. Today, we're going to talk about how you've been using Gitpod for your education efforts. For those who don't know you, can you give us a bit of an introduction on yourself and what you do? Yeah, of course. Hi, and thanks for having me here for the invitation. So I work as a software engineer on Red Hat. I do web development using mainly Python and also a little bit of Rust language. And on my free time, let's say my extra time, I do some trainings. Yeah, some of them are free for the community. Some of them are in a platform, in a technology school. And right now I'm using Gitpod for my environment, both for work and also for training. So I migrated, let's say, almost everything I do to Gitpod. That's incredible. Yeah. And it really does show the power of how you can use Gitpod for these yeah. sorts of scenarios. Out of interest, why did you choose Gitpod? Well, so when I do my workshops, most mostly those are online workshops, not in person. And usually when I did this in person in the past, I had the opportunity to go into each student machine and help them to configure the environment and set up those little things. And now that everything is happening online, it's easier to give them just a single link. They can click and enter a ready-to-use environment. So I think that's the main reason I'm using uh, Gitpod for that. I think it's awesome. Usually what I do is I put Git repository with the Gitpod YAML configuration, and then it's all there. Everything I need for the workshop for the students, they just click and wait a little bit until the images are built and everything is installed. And then I can just start my content and everything is there for them to start. So it saves me a lot of time and headaches about like how to configure. And I think another interesting thing is that mainly people are not in the same operational system. So I have students on Linux, on Mac, on Windows, even on a tablet or some mobile environment. So it's nice because it works anywhere. When they have problems, I can just like send some Gitpod documentation links and saves me a lot of time. They can configure because it's easy to use. So that's uh, how I'm using it. And how, why did I choose Gitpod? Because I tested other uh, alternatives. And when I found Gitpod, it was like perfectly what I wanted. Like I have a Git repository. I have my configuration for every a workshop, every training. And then it's just a single click, nothing more. And uh, it works like very good for this. Yeah. I mean, as a previous data myself, I totally understand your experience that you had before when you were teaching students with a local dev environment and how magical it is moving to the cloud and how easy that is. What are the main benefits for you right now and your students? I think the main benefit is that it's just a single click of distance of having your environment fully working. And every student has the same experience. So in the past, I used it to have on my documentation for the, on the material for the courses, I would like to have a page for how do you configure on Windows? How do you configure on Mac, on Linux? And then each student has a different experience. So I need to explain twice the things. Now I just assume everyone is on the same environment and I usually I left some example files on my repository and I can configure that Gitpod configuration to start the terminals exactly where I want. I don't have to waste the time. So I think this is the main benefit. That's amazing. Yeah. And when you're teaching, you definitely want that consistent environment. And you can actually focus on coding, which is the whole point of your courses. So my final question for you today, is there anything you'd like to see for us to develop on Gitpod to help it? become easier for you as an educator? Okay, yeah, so as you were asking for suggestions, I think um, I do some kind of templating for education and usually I develop myself some applications to run and do some tests for the, the students. So it would be nice if Gitpod can have something embedded, like I can prepare a test like for the student to follow some instructions and have some specific outputs that Gitpod could like capture from the terminal or somewhere else. Like a plugin for the editor would also work for this thing. And then it would be 
nice if I can like hide it from the students so they can have the experience of doing a test, an exam for completing any kind of course. So I think this is something I'm already doing, but I found ways of doing it. But seeing something like more standardized on Gitpod will be great. Another request that I see some people asking is like a read-only mode. Because right now, to see the environment, I think the user needs to be logged in and have an account. And sometimes I just want to demonstrate how the environment is set and then maybe some kind of way to easily get the person into the Git pod. They can't interact. And then when they start interacting, they are requested to log in. It would be like help to get more people involved maybe. But everything else I think works will really well. We can have containers running inside the Gitpod environment. We can have all the plugins we need. If the user that are following my training doesn't like to use the web editor, they can connect external IDEs and just use like the preferred editor. I think that's awesome. So I see people using, for example, Vim or NeoVim inside Gitpod terminal. I see people using other IDEs and connecting remotely. So I think it's very flexible and there is no way uh, a, a training or a workshop will not work on that environment. Thank you so much for that feedback. Yeah, that is something that we get a lot of educators say, having more of that like seamless experience and maybe like a template that everyone else can follow. Thank you so much for your time today, Bruno. Really appreciate it. And I'm sure that if people want to get in touch with you, you've also put your Twitter on the... Yeah, my on, Twitter is here. Uh, yeah, right there. So if you want to get in touch with Bruno. And also just a quick shout out that we always love having these conversations on our Gitpod community. So head over to gitpod.io slash chat and we're more than happy to help you with Gitpod for education. Thanks again, Bruno, for your time. Okay, thank you. Thank you for having me. Bye.